What's good ladies and gents, we're going to make this a quick video really of the Bitcoin distribution because I think this really reflects a lot of consumer and investor behavior and let's align this behavior with where we currently are in the market cycles to kind of justify why they are doing what they are doing. And the first thing I really notice actually is the balance of Bitcoin on the distribution side of things. If we look at the amount of wallets that actually have one to 10 Bitcoins, which is a substantial amount, you know, for the average person, it's, it could be anywhere between $210,000 to $21,000, right? Um, but what I notice is looking today, we can see there are 723,000 addresses. That's a lot of individuals that have 110 Bitcoin sitting in their portfolio. Now, if we were to zoom out a month ago, now we're looking at the 5th of May, 2022. Uh, sorry, uh, May the 28th, 2022. You can see there's 699,000 wallets uh, with one to 10 Bitcoin. So what I'm saying is over this last month of extreme fear, we've actually seen an extra 23,000 Bitcoin addresses now holding over one Bitcoin. So it really shows that actually lots of retailers or investors have been accumulating crypto through this extreme fear um, scenario. And even if we're looking at the 0 0.1 to 1 Bitcoin, you can see one month ago there was 2.6 million addresses of that much. Now there is actually 2.76 million addresses with 0 0.1 to 1 Bitcoin. So it seems that the I suppose the distribution of the, the lower quartile is actually starting to pick up as much crypto as possible. The crypto dust holders are starting to get that whole coin sensation as they finally can see a good level of valuation for Bitcoin. It's actually affordable in the sense that it's now possible for people to buy one Bitcoin. I mean, $60,000 Bitcoin is very hard to achieve a whole coin, right? But I suppose it's really, really cool to see that, you know, even though Bitcoin is currently capitulating we've got these huge red weekly candles we come through the 200 week moving average well actually on the bitcoin distribution we can see that the retailers are buying at this particular moment even if we were to look three months ago i mean look at the one to ten wallets uh, addresses six hundred eighty thousand. if we look six months ago uh you can see one to ten six hundred sixty five thousand. so it's a very very big difference um, if you look six months ago, 665,000 addresses with one to 10 Bitcoin. Now we are up again, 723,000. So 60,000 extra addresses now have over one Bitcoin in them. And it means every day that you kind of wait to buy into crypto, not financial advice, but it does make it more difficult for you to achieve that one cryptocurrency. Now, what else do I want to look at today? I want to have a look at the rich list. You know what's going on let's have a look at the third biggest um whale i suppose we could call it in cryptocurrency this address right here what has this address been doing well we can see 24th of june 23rd of june 22nd of june there's been inflow so they've been buying a lot of bitcoin i mean imagine casually just picking up 11 million worth of bitcoin ah oh, it's nothing you know crazy so actually they've been doing a lot of accumulating through june you can see in june there was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven individual transactions now one of them was selling that was on the the 9th of june not sure what that was about or why they did it but it looks like they sold at 30.1k after buying 300 bitcoin at 31.03k very very interesting but you can see throughout the entire year of 2022 it's mostly just been accumulation for this particular wallet. There was an interesting wallet that I also saw right here. Uh, it's just opened. This is unknown wallet, of course. We don't know who it is, but this is whale number 15. Whale number 15 has basically purchased 50.62K worth of Bitcoin, which is pretty bizarre considering it's worth $1.6 billion. They bought this at the average value of 31.5K, so right now they are down $582,000. However, because they're not in for the short term, they don't really care about this particular loss. So I'm going to keep an eye on this wallet. I think it's quite an interesting one. Um, what else have we had go on, really? I suppose we could look at another wallet. Maybe let's look at wallet number six. What's happened with wallet number six? So wallet number six hasn't really been accumulating anything, just microtransactions by the look of it. But they've got a lot of Bitcoin. And they put their first major transfers in 
actually February of 2022. So they again, they didn't get the timing correct. It was not perfectly a bottom. The $38,000 was their average entry, putting them down $1.7 billion in you know, negative. So again, this is kind of crazy. They were all the way up at a 3.6 billion valuation. And even though now they're holding more Bitcoin, they're still down a whopping $1.7 billion. But are they selling? No, they're still accumulating. And I suppose this is the mindset that we need to sort of inherit and adopt, um, as we always need to look long term on these particular scenarios. Quite interesting to see what the whales are doing. So yeah, just a, a kind of quick update of what's going on with the whales, the Bitcoin distribution, and how I suppose you know we can take advantage of this transparency, the data, because we don't really know uh, what the true data is with fiat currency and circulation. Because with Bitcoin, every single transaction from day one is transparent and traceable. That's what's really really cool. It's it's all there on the the blockchain for us to see. So extremely cool to see what's going on. And this is just Bitcoin. Maybe we'll look at some other coins soon, see what the whales are doing with Ethereum and, and Litecoin. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that sort of thing. Bitcoin is basically, oh, it's lost its 21K support. That's going to create some fear in the markets. Um, losing that 21K now, maybe we could work our way back down to $20,000. Who knows what's going on? But I do think it's still a good time to dollar cost average into crypto, especially after seeing those major whales buy through this particular phase. Uh, total market cap, one really interesting thing. You can see actually this reflects the exponential growth of cryptocurrency. Look, last time we were here, we had the extreme uh, greed phase. So 2018 bull market, we were at 480 ish billion valuation we had extreme greed the mistake you would have made is fomoing in at this level now what's happening is we've got the same thing happen with extreme fear and the mistake number two you'd be making is probably selling cryptocurrency at this particular level whereas you'd want to be accumulating so let's learn a lesson um and you know just imagine that sure we could still capitulate a bit more uh, but it's probably just going to be a bit of chopping sideways before we see the next huge rally to the top. And that's probably a pragmatic sort of target as we have the fear here and then all the euphoria up top here, which is much more short lived, to be honest. But yeah, that's just a bit of a analysis, a bit of an insight that I wanted to share with you guys, a bit of a new perspective, I suppose. You can also see crypto is dead is trending on Google Trends at the moment. Um, and on the contrary, cryptocurrency is on the decline. So the completely inverse cryptocurrency search volume goes down, crypto is dead, search volume goes up. Of course, it's another bullish indicator. Bitcoin is dead, Bitcoin is a scam. We've seen this in the headlines before. Anyway, guys, as you can see, we're sitting pretty in the blue section on the Bitcoin rainbow chart, meaning it's effectively a good time to buy. I'm dollar cost averaging in. You don't have to do what I do. I'm just someone that makes videos on YouTube. But if you want to grab some crypto or Bitcoin today, make sure you use the link down in my description below. And before you leave, do smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to become part of the notification nation. And I shall see you soon, ladies and gents. Thank you very much.